Hello friends, Kishan is here again and this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had created this project and we wanted to handle uh, unchecked exception for a lambda expression. And here we were getting a compilation error in this line, right? So there is some issue for this parenthesis. If you remove this parenthesis, then this error will go away. And when we try to run this class, then we are able to successfully successfully get the output but uh, uh, for fourth element we are getting arithmetic expression occurred divided by zero right because fourth element is zero and basically we are dividing uh, uh, dividing and in uh, we are dividing i mean our number 50 by every elements of uh, every elements uh, which is present in this list and fourth elements we have zero right so 50 divided by zero this will give you the arithmetic expression divided by zero that's why this expression we are getting but still we are able to process for the rest of the elements right so if you look into this code right so at first we wrote the wrapper method that will be responsible for handling the exception and passed and then pass the lambda expression as a parameter right we have passed lambda expression as a parameter this is nothing but the consumer so that's why here we have defined consumer as an argument right the wrapper method works as expected right this wrapper method works what we had expected expected but you may argue that it's basically removing the try catch block from lambda expressions and moving it to the another method and it does not reduce the actual number of lines of the code being written right so earlier what we wanted we wanted to put this lambda expression within the try catch and that was basically that was remo removing the conciseness of the lambda expression that's why we decided to define a uh, lambda wrapper and we we will pass this lambda expression to this lambda wrapper as a argument so that conciseness of lambda as a exception will be as it is right so that's the reason i have written separate a lambda wrapper to handle exception the wrapper method works as expected right but you may argue that it is basically removing the try catch block from the lambda expression and basically it is another method it does not reduce the actual number of lines of the code being written right it is true right in this case where the wrapper is a specific to a particular use case but we can make use of generics to improve this method and use it for the variety of other scenarios so what i will do <coughs> sorry for that so i will change uh, this method as a generic one so that this will handle scenario for the other purposes as well for other scenario as well so i'm going to comment this guy and i'm going to define uh, another method uh, and this would be the generic method so let's write a generic method to handle exception private static and here we are going to define a generic method t e extends extends exception and method return would be consumer t consumer t is the parameter and now method name I'm going to specify consumer wrapper. Consumer wrapper. And this method will take argument, generic argument like consumer t <coughs> sorry consumer and second argument <coughs> I am going to pass class E and
so second argument is the class itself now i'm going to return make a return statement over here i lambda expression sign here you can write consumer dot accept method we have right so instead of uh, yeah here we will have to pass i now you can wrap this code inside try catch block so surround with we have option is surround with try catch and here you can handle exception okay and here instead of calling lambda wrapper you can call a generic method So here they will have to pass basically <clears throat> one more argument and that is nothing but the sorry arithmetic exception dot you can say exception dot class okay and now if i run this application and here you can type a message exception has occurred an exception and e dot get message And if I run this application, then this code is running successfully. That means what wrapper class we have written, wrapper method we have written, uh, is a generic method, right? So our code is working perfectly fine. So as you can see, this implementation of wrapper method uh, takes two arguments, right? First argument is the uh, lamb, uh, consumer and second is the class right two arguments that the lambda expression and type of exception to be caught right second is the type of exception to be caught this lambda wrapper is capable of handling all data types not just integers right here if your list contains other data type then this will also handle by this uh, consumer wrapper right so because this is a generic method we have written and this will catch any specific type of exception not the uh, super uh, class uh, super class exception also notice that we have changed the name of the method from lambda wrapper to consumer wrapper it's because method only uh, this method only handles lambda expression for functional interface of type consumer right we can write similar wrapper methods for other functional interfaces like if you go to the java.util.function then there are a lot of functional interface so similar wrapper class wrapper method you can write uh, for exception handling for by consumer by functions and there are several uh, other functional interface as well so in this similar fashion you can write uh, 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 wrapper uh, right consumer wrapper you can uh, like consumer wrapper you can like by consumer wrapper and that will be responsible to handle exception for uh, generic data type right so in this tutorial in this video tutorial and previous video tutorial we had covered how to handle checked exception in lambda expression next video tutorial we are going to discuss how to handle checked exception in uh, lambda expression so please be with my be over there and please subscribe my youtube youtube channel so that you will get 
uh, notification about the my new video upload and thanks for watching this video